क्वालिटी इंजीनियरिंग एंड मैनेजमेंट वीक फोर वीडियो थर्टीन द टॉपिक इज आई एस ओ फोर्टीन थाउजेंड बाय डॉक्टर एन वेंकटेश्वर लू असोसिएट प्रोफेसर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग स्कूल ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इग्नो न्यू डेली इंट्रोडक्शन आई एस ओ फोर्टीन थाउजेंड इज ए स्टैंडर्ड फॉर एनवायरमेंटल मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम टू बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड इन द मैनुफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्रीज पेपर इंडस्ट्रीज प्रोसेस और केमिकल इंडस्ट्रीज एंड इवन इवन इन सर्विस इंडस्ट्रीज लाइक होटल इंडस्ट्री हॉस्पिटल इंडस्ट्री ऑटोमोबाइल सर्विस इंडस्ट्रीज एट्सेट्रा टू रिड्यूस एंड मेंटेन द पोल्यूशन लेवल्स अंडर कंट्रोल इंडस्ट्रीज हैज टू टेक वेरियस मेजर्स एंड इम्प्लीमेंट अप्रोप्रिएट मेथडोलॉजीज टू कंट्रोल द पोल्यूशन ऑब्जेक्टिव्स लर्नर्स After listening this video lecture you should be able to understand need for safety and health in the industry explain occupational safety and health administration OSHA and its benefits describe safety approaches and safety management discuss about ISO 14000 implementation need for safety and health in the industry so any uh, industry there is a need of safety and as well as maintaining health 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 is also health of the employees health of the managers anybody who is working in the industry is safety and his health is very much important so it has been observed that a lot of industrial accidents occur due to a lack of safety awareness job related accident also occur due to unsafe conditions of operations often each negligence results in a loss of human life or disable a healthy worker in fact statisticians have calculated that percent percent days lost from job related disabilities are 10 times of loss due to strikes apart from negligence on this matter in the industry the protection of workers from risk related to exposure to chemical physical and biological agents are not guaranteed so safety is very much required for saving the lives for every employee who is working in the chemical industry or manufacturing industry anywhere the manufacturing places should be keep safe the material handling should be safely handled so the safety is very much essential while doing the work so simultaneously maintaining health is also very much required to enhance the productivity this is commonly observed in industries of developing nations for example in small fabrication industries spray painting workers are not provided with protective equipment such as air masks gloves and uh, eye protection glasses negligence from the worker is a persistent problem although it is the duty of supervisor in the shop floor to understand that safety is a practice of good management so excessive working hours in the shop floor inadequate rest or disruptive working patterns cause adverse effect on the health of the workers health of the employees so there are the various reasons one is negligence one is overworking one is inadequate facilities one is more enthusiasm to work and dis disruptive working practices and the providing space or the illumination of workplaces so there are means uh, everything uh, should be uh, the safety procedure should be practiced to be safe so that is the importance of need for safety and health in the industry today several institutes are creating database of occupational diseases arising from problems and trends in the working life and making them available to the public in absence of safety a safety efforts all 
लॉस्ट प्रोडक्शन एंड वेजेस मेडिकल एक्सपेंसेस एंड डिजेबिलिटी कंपेंसेशन आर डायरेक्टली सब्ट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम द प्रॉफिट्स सो वॉट इट मीन्स सो देर आर एक्स्ट्रा मनी वी आर पेइंग सो बिकॉज ऑफ नेग्लिजेंस बिकॉज ऑफ नॉन नॉन प्रोवाइडिंग नॉट प्रोवाइडिंग ए गुड वर्क वर्क एल्यूमिनेशन और वर्क प्लेस सेफ्टी और गिविंग अवेयरनेस अबाउट सेफ्टी प्रैक्टिसेस इन द इंडस्ट्री बिकॉज ऑफ दैट द इंडस्ट्री इज स्पेंडिंग मच ऑफ अमाउंट टू टू ऑन द safety purpose so that is the uh, that has to be deducted from subtracted from the profits so in 1970 the occupational safety and health act was passed uh, passed by us congress to set mandatory occupational safety and health standards application in industries osha that um, under the act occupational safety and health administration was set up within the department of labor to encourage employers and employees to reduce workplace hazards and to implement new or improve existing safety and health programs so it, it osha uh, what it says to encourage employees and employers to reduce workplace hazards and to implement new or improve existing safety and health programs provide for research in occupational safety and health to develop innovative ways of dealing with occupational safety and health establish separate but dependent responsibilities and rights for employers and employees for the achievement of better safety and health conditions maintain a reporting and record keeping system to monitor job related injuries and illness maintaining record is records also very much important so uh, through osha one can know about the uh, what is what has happened about the injuries or hazards taken place all these records can be uh, maintained establish training programs to increase the number and competence of occupational safety and health personnel so the training is very much required the safety for safety purpose conduction of safety programs safety training programs which will enhance the capabilities of the company uh, employees can have the skills uh, skills and uh, knowing about the safety and uh, means uh, safety how to maintain safety or how to practice the safety so that they can uh, the hazards or accidents can be reduced develop mandatory job safety and health standards and enforce them effectively so some uh, safety standards one has to develop and which has to be enforced or implemented effectively then only the the safety can be uh, possible provide for the development analysis evaluation and approval of state occupational safety and health programs so the safety programs by the government also uh, available so that that can also be implemented in the industries to maintain the safety uh, osha safety standards are designed to reduce on the job injuries health standards cover cover hazards which exist in a wide variety of industries so osha has developed some standards which will designed to reduce the on job injuries as well as health enhances the health standards osha these are compiled as the osha general industry standards means depending upon the industry to industry they have developed some standards for particular industry which are o- osha construction standards osha agriculture standards osha maritime sector standards these are the three standards we will be discussing the, uh, the general the osha standards fall into the following four categories specification standards specific proportions 
locations and warning symbols for signs to be displayed so what the osha says so specific proportions and wherever the locations are there wherever the work location so the documents has to be prepared in a symbolically and it should be displayed in the workplace so that one can maintain or one can practice the safety practices performance standards the minimum and maximum limits of achievements are specified so uh, the performance standards should be achieved these are mentioned in the through posters or through uh, documentation particular standards which are vertical the standards relating to particular industry for individual operation so but individual uh, any operation the standards have been developed so that they, uh, the there won't be there uh, there won't be any uh, accident or any uh, means untoward incident will not takes place the hazards can be avoided so these are the particular standards we can say that is in the vertical uh, vertical means the operation to operation the speci special standards are developed general standards are horizontal standards related to workplace illumination and working uh, walking surface area so so the surface area walking also if it is slippery so one can uh, slip and fell down so so that workplace illumination is very much important workplace cleaning also very much important and illumination means the lighting and everything should be there during the uh, uh, means machining practices so the for the safety purpose these are the various uh, general osha standards the benefits arising from occupational safety and health association the gains resulting from good safety and health efforts help from good community relations lower employee absenteeism better employee morale and steadier work so by implementing osha standards the companies are the absenteeism has been reduced the good relations have been developed better employee morale has increased and the steadier work or continuous production is going on the employer can expect osha to help them identify and control workplace hazards so how the what the employees are expecting from osha so if, uh, if still the accidents are taking place the hazardous uh, uh, accidents or different types of accidents are taking place so the 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 employees are expecting from osha is that identify and control workplace hazards and focus agency inspections on the most significant hazards in dangerous workplaces the nuclear industry is one such area where hazards from radiation exposure are a threat to every worker in such type of requirements one has to uh, observe so osha has to think about reduce this radiation effects employees can expect osha to promote employee participation in the development and implementation of work site safety and health progress health programs and in osha interventions such as workplace inspections respond promptly to employee requirements for correction of serious hazards at workplaces here the employees those who are regularly working so they may observe some uh, hazardous hazard or accident may occur so that uh, they, they have to give the feedback to the osha team so then only they can uh, make the workplace safe advise employees of their safety and health rights and responsibilities and complete investigations within 90 days for those employees who who believe they have been discriminated for exp uh, exercising their rights to request the general pub, uh, the general public can expect osha to 
make requisitions and interpretations user friendly work in partnership with business and labor to develop new standards that make real sense to re real people expand training opportunities for private sector employees and provide better access to osha information through publication and online materials to prevent accidents and occupational ill health rules have to be enforced safe and hygienic work condition should be developed and workers should be tra uh, trained to do the job safely any safety program will be ineffective without first creating a proper safety philosophy teaching safety principles and eliminating misconceptions about the causes of ac uh, accidents so uh, these are the various benefits actually the employees has to be trained about the safety philosophy and safety principles and eliminating misconceptions about the causes of accidents safety approaches and safety management it is generally considered that safety awareness can be developed by having meetings posters safety booklets special classroom sessions etc though theoretically it seems correct that these training techniques should make employees judge what is an unsafe practice and what is not experimental study shows that this mass educational methods fail to apply to the actual work satisfaction so here the only just simply by uh, educating the people so the, it it's not possible to uh, implement everything properly so there further uh, through through training or to developing posters safety booklets or special classroom sessions one has to take so then only one can uh, manage uh, the safety uh, activities the existing rules of safety practices in most of the industries do not cover individual risks in general the following points are essential to evaluate the effectiveness of safety practices the perception of employees of the rules the employees must appreciate the new safety rules and must not think that the rules were imposed from above keeping peace safety rules should keep pace with changes in technology work schedules and emergency situations learners safety approaches and safety management safety rules should not cause unnecessary inconvenience to the employees at at least the worker must not be worried of meeting safety measures in lieu of the actual assigned work safety rules should be objective in nature that the rules should not be broad or very general having no real meaning to employees methods and tools for assessing effectiveness safety and health program checking documentation of activity interviewing employees at all levels for knowledge awareness and perceptions reviewing site conditions and root causes of hazards assessing the key components of leadership participation and accountability assessing the key components of work site analysis assessing the key components of hazard prevention and control assessing the key components of safety and health training first checking documentation of activities the checking of documented manuals can also be used to determine the quality of certain activities such as self inspection these inspection records reveal the evaluator whether the serious hazards are being found or whether the same hazards are being found repeatedly if certain hazards are reoccur repeatedly after being corrected someone is someone is not 
taking responsibility for keeping those hazards under control either the responsibility is not clear or those who are resp responsible are not being held accountable so to control any accidents or if it is occurring and reoccurring and even after control measures has been taken place even though it is occurring means somebody is not performing well or or uh, the responsibility who has been uh, given he is uh, he is not accountable or so such type of uh, things we have to, one has to observe through the inspection of each and every processes interviewing employees so uh, this is one another one is an approach for interviewing employees talking to randomly selected employees at all levels will provide a good indication of the quality of employee training and of employee participation of the program if safety and health training is effective employees will be able to relate about the hazard control every employee should also be able to say precisely what he has expected to do as part of the program so uh, uh, some training program on safety is going on so the training program is completed so some feedback one has to take by asking questions to the employees so those who are taken the training then they will be asking is this training is okay for your uh, processes for your safety so then they will say that the training is if it is good they immediately give, they give the feedback so that is the important the interviewing and uh, through interview one can assess the uh, employees how much they have learned about the safety then reviewing site conditions and root causes of hazards so any uh, the site can one has to review the site conditions as well as what is the root root cause uh, for that hazard is occurring so looking at the site conditions and practices is a well established technique for assessing the effectiveness of safety and health program so this root cause analysis is a uh, one a good um, uh, uh, means uh, what you can say that assessment methodology for finding out the uh, finding out the effectiveness of training on safety and hazard so examining the conditions of the workplace can reveal existing hazard it can also provide information about the breakdown of the management systems mean to prevent or control these hazards another way to obtain information about safety and health program management is through root cause analysis of observed hazards this approach to hazards is much like the most sophisticated accident investigation technologies in which many contributing factors are located corrected and controlled so it is a root cause analysis is a technique to find out it is uh, to find out the causes for a particular hazard the particular hazard is occurring several times at one place so for that one root cause analysis will be conducted then correct the find out the solution and corrected then sometimes again it has to be controlled and controlled so that is the uh, one important approach of controlling the hazards safety approaches and safety management the tools used by osha for assessment of safety and health program are management leadership employee involvement work site analysis hazard prevention and control and safety and health training these are the five important aspects uh, for the uh, assessment of a safety and health program visible top management leadership documents cover all written programs which involve top level management in safety and health activities for example top management can receive and approve an inspection reports either after each 
inspection or in quarterly summary these reports can then be posted for employees to see top management can provide time once in a week or a month for employees to come in to discuss safety and health concern such a document is valuable resource to prove the management initiatives on safety employee participation the presence of employee inspection reports minutes of joint employee management or written guarantees of employees protection from harassment resulting from safety and health program involvement or a proof of employee participation in decision affecting their safety and health if employees are not comfortable during an interview regarding their participation it is a clear indication that the employees do not count safety measures as a achievements assessing the key components of work site analysis checking documents provide comprehensive analysis of all potential hazards on work site new facility equipment material or process and the means for eliminating or controlling such hazards in case of nuclear power documents that discuss the potential hazards such as nuclear leak must exist employees must know whom to contact and what to do if they see something hazardous for themselves or for their co-workers such information can be collected through interviews assessing the key components of hazard prevention and control documents related to inspection are a proof that vigilant action is taken to prevent avoid avoidable hazards such documents also contain information of the corrective actions taken if the contents also state that by inspection the management discovered a potential hazard in an unlikely area it is a further proof of good safety practices this provides the inspectors to evaluate the appropriateness of corrective actions assessing the key components of safety and health training an interview on general safety with the employees is a quick indicator of the safety practices in the organization regular training has to be provided to the workers on health and safety from time to time their awareness about health and safety measures has to be assessed so this is a one important methodology to reduce the accidents and hazards in the industry then iso 14000 the iso 14000 is a set of standards concerning the ways in which an organization activities affected the environment throughout the life of its products these activities range from production to ultimate disposal of product in it includes effects on the environment such as pollution waste generation noise depletion of natural resources and energy use at present many countries and regional groupings are generating their own requirements for environmental issues and these vary between the groups the existence of the standards will ensure that there are no conflicts between the regional interpretation of good and environmental practices the iso 14000 specifies that an environmental policy fully supported by senior management must exist the iso 14000 standards are designed to cover environmental management systems environmental auditing environmental performance evaluation environmental leveling and life cycle assessment it requires that the environmental policies of the company should be brought to the notice of not only staff but also to public the key 
aspects of ISO 14000 are that it is a voluntary and flexible ISO 14000 it per, it pushes continual improvement encourages cost savings by integrating environmental requirements into the overall company systems design production etc and can provide a substantial market advantage a primary com- component of iso 14000 standard as mentioned earlier is the environmental policy which must be defined by an organization's top management the environmental policies must include a commitment to both compliance with environmental laws and company policies continual improvement and prevention of pollution iso 14000 is a generally known as the standard for environmental management system it means all the industries take some steps to minimize or reduce the harmful effects on the environment caused by its production processes and to continually improve its environmental performance the number of iso 14001 certified organizations in india were 400 in 2001 and 1100 in 2003 the total number of iso 14001 certified organization throughout the world till the end of the 2003 were 66k or 66000 iso 14001 2015 is an environmental management system having a set of standards developed to practice by each and every person of the industry to minimize the pollution created while manufacturing the products it develops manuals standards documents and keeps the records to best practice them for each and every process of the manufacturing system so that the environmental impact should be reduced and maintained as per the required levels iso 14001 2015 helps organizations identify manage monitor and control their environmental issues in a holistic manner iso 14000 is a certification for adoption of environmental management system developed by the international standards of organization iso iso 14001 certifications are valid for 3 years iso 14001 2015 is a part of part of a organization anywhere relating to environmental management iso 14001 2015 can provide assurance to company management and employees as well as external stakeholders that environmental impact is being measured and improved iso 14000 2000 environmental management system series architecture these series consist of five clusters environmental management system environmental auditing environmental leveling environmental performance evaluation and life cycle assessment salient features of iso 14000 one standard some of the features and principles of iso 14001 standards are as follows the overall aim of the standard is to support environmental protection and prevention of pollution in balance with socio economic needs the standard does not address health and safety management but does not discourage integration of these elements certification however will only be applicable to the environmental management system these are the salient features benefits of environmental audit it meets iso 14001 certification criteria improves regulatory compliance meet policies and goals save money through waste uh, minimization continuous environmental improvement ISO 14000 environmental management system provides methods of maintaining specified and improving levels of environmental performance learners the conclusions i hope you understood the need for safety and health in the industry 
Occupational Safety and Health Administration, Benefits of OSHA, Safety Approaches and Safety Management, ISO 14000, ISO 14001 Environmental Management System, ISO 14001 2015 Environmental Management System and Certification and Validity of ISO 14001 Certification and also Benefits of Environmental Audit. I hope you understand all these things. Uh, thank you very much for listening uh, my lecture.